Hey everyone, it's Rodev, and in this video, what I'm hoping to talk to you guys today about is what you need to know about scripting. Because a lot of videos on YouTube, they don't really talk about what you really should know and what goes into a fully made Roblox game. So let's say you wanted to create a brand new Roblox game, even something as simple as an obby. Today, I'm going to be covering the topics that you really should get down and you should know to actually create that game. So let's get started. The first topic I really do think you guys need to understand are variables. Variables are really the fundamental in scripting and they're really important to have in your scripts because they save you a lot of time when writing things multiple times over and over again. Now it's important to make sure you don't confuse variables with functions. We'll get into functions a little bit later. The second thing I want to talk about are properties. So whenever you look at a part, for example, in this game, as you can see those bricks over there, those were set to the material of a brick. And bricks are basically just a certain type of material on Roblox. Compared to the ground right here, as you can see it looks completely different that's because it's a different material. It has a completely different texture on it and it has a completely different look. That's because, once again, it's a different material. So make sure you get down what properties are because they can literally change the entire look of your game. And the most important thing, and the reason I'm saying this, is because scripts are basically just changing properties of objects at certain times. That's all scripting really is in Roblox Studio, just changing properties at different times. The next thing I want to cover are events. And in my opinion, events are the most important part of scripting. So the reason I think events are the most important part of scripting are because they literally provide the functionality of your game. For example, I'm about to stop my car by holding space, and even just holding space, that was an event that actually got fired in the game. Whenever I press a button on my keyboard, as you can see, it turns the light. Basically, what's happening is it's sending an event, and the game is telling the game, I press spacebar. And what the game is doing is actually it's using if statements, and we'll talk about those in a bit. So what happens is when I press spacebar, the game is telling the scripts that I press spacebar, and the scripts are using if statements to do things when I press spacebar. That's why events are so important. They actually provide the functionality of your game. Even when I'm just driving around and pressing W, those are events. So the reasons that games are interactive and they do things when you do things in the game are because of events and that's why I think they are the most important part of scripting. So make sure you understand events and connecting functions to events. The next thing we're going to talk about is math because one of the most important parts of game development is math. You'll see math in every programming language, not just in Lua. Math accounts for all the fundamental calculations in your game. For example, just this object in the game my car moving around in the game is literally just numbers for the game. When you look in the properties of an object, the most common thing you see are numbers. Numbers determine fundamental things like the position, the color, and size of objects in your game. These are really important and they go hand in hand with properties. The next thing I want to cover are functions. Functions are really important because they save you a lot of time along with variables. But the difference with functions is unlike variables, they store pieces of code that you can use again and again. Say I had a piece of code that speeds up the car whenever I press W. I would want to type that piece of code again and again and again. What I would really want to do is create a function. So when I press W, all I have to do is run that function that speeds up the car. Now taking a look back at events and where I was talking about if statements. As you can see, when I press spacebar, I'm going to use that example once again, it turns a light on. What it's doing is when I press spacebar, it checks what key I'm pressing. And then after it checks the key I'm pressing, it runs a piece of code. And this piece of code is most likely a function. And that's because it's a piece of code that needs to be written over and over again. And that's why developers love functions. It's because it saves them a lot of time and it saves them from writing code again and again and again. And lastly, I want to talk about loops because some games are based on round systems and round systems are literally just one big loop. If you think about it, that game would never run if it was never put inside of a loop. That's called the game loop and it's a fundamental part of most games. And what happens is it runs that piece of code or that game's entire code again and again and that allows the game to run. That's why loops are really important to games. Loops allow for gameplay replayability. And that's one of the most important parts of the end user experience when the player actually plays your game. You want them to keep coming back. That's why game loops are really important, but even just loops in the game itself. When you want to run a piece of code again and again and again, you don't want to paste that piece of code in in your script a million times. What you really want to be doing is using a loop that'll run the code for you again and again and again. This is really important to your game. So remember guys, in this video, you learned the fundamentals of scripting a Roblox game. Changing properties, variables, events, math, functions, if statements, and loops. It seems like a lot, but it's really not much, especially once you put it all together. So good luck guys with your Roblox games. Let me know how it goes in my Discord server. It's free to join. You guys can join and leave at any time. If this video did help you out, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it and it means a lot to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.